So hey guys, Gary O'Neill's pre-Chelsea press conference has just taken place and I'm going to be uh, giving you all the main points that have come out of that right from the heart of Wolverhampton, uh, the Manda Centre. So uh, let's have a look at what's been said. Um, Gary O'Neill has been asked a few questions by the press. He says on the transfer window, he stressed that the transfer window is more about finding players that fit football-wise financially than anything else. He said, obviously I've seen some of the noise. I do try to stay away from the noise where I can. There's no real financial limit. It's more about players and getting the valuations right. We can do stuff definitely between now and the end of the window. It just needs to fit the team and the football club. I'll come back on that in a minute. He added some figures and things that you hear banding around. I've not heard any, he has not heard any figure in any of his meetings or discussion. It's more that we can find things to fit football-wise financially than set a budget. On team news, on the, for the game ahead, he said there's no new issues. Matthias Kuna is fine. He'll be able to get uh, more minutes on the pitch. Uh, Bubakar Traore as well. Uh, he's done extra work this week in training. So he's also in a better spot. Uh, everyone else is okay. So as we are, I think. He was also asking if the job feels different now compared to when he was appointed 12 months ago. He said, I feel still like we're running. We're running as hard as we can do to push forward. It's exactly as driven as... Uh, he's, he said, I'm exactly as driven as I was today. I walked into the group into saying there's a real hunger with the group. He also added that training was excellent today. He said, how, he was also asked how difficult is it to be a coach uh, with 40 plus players like Endro Mascara at Chelsea, Maresca at Chelsea. He says, I'm not sure how many he's dealing with at the moment with a day to day. Uh, you can see Chelsea Football Club are still in transition and they are still trying to sort a few bits out. That doesn't mean they can't be successful whilst in transition. The amount of talent he had is a top coach. Uh, and of course, uh, they're going to be a very, very big challenge. He's asked about the Chelsea challenge, of course. Uh, for the weekend, he says, well, like everyone else, they're going to be looking for points. We're looking to get to points. We all know it's a difficult start for Wolves. Uh, and the sooner we get points on the board, uh, the better. He was asked about Pedro Neto coming back. Obviously, he, he had some pointers on that. From my point with regards to Pedro Neto, um, he said, uh, Gary O'Neill, he said, well, he started last night in their Conference League, Europa Conference League win, and it'll be interesting to see whether he starts at the weekend or is it in the squad. Obviously, there's lots going on around Chelsea uh, at the moment. So he says, uh, you know, it's hard to prepare for them because they don't exactly know what team that they're going to they're gonna put out, but it's going to be a really tough Ted. They've got a lot of talent in their squad and uh, he's very much looking uh, forward to it. And uh, he did talk about more about the transfer window. He said there's a lot of clubs that are spending money that were teams around us. He referred to Palace, he referred to Fulham, he referred to West Ham. He said all the clubs that have come up uh, spending a lot of money. And he expects that the transfer window in the Premier League is going to be uh, a busy one uh, for the uh, in the next week. So uh, as always, you know, the big point that I said that about that, there's obviously been this 20 million that's been bandied about. But Gary O'Neill has said there's no real financial limit, so that's interesting. We'll have to wait and see what happens with the rest of the window. But we're very much looking forward to the, the match at the weekend. And here he is, Mr Magic Moss himself, How looking forward to the weekend. Oh, certainly am, yeah. Looking forward to being back at Molyneux. So yeah, guys, these are the main points from the Gary O'Neill press conference versus Chelsea. Uh, leave your thoughts on that in the in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to the game? Where will you be watching it? Uh, do us a favour, smash that like button uh, as well, and uh, hopefully we'll see some of you. And we'll, we, will, of course, we'll be doing the uh, the post match reaction with this gentleman and a few others after the game, and there'll be the match vlog, and of course, extra time. Uh, the the fan zone phone in will be coming back as well. So lots of content coming up definitely worth hitting that subscribe button and the bell notifications really looking forward to being back at Molyneux to face Chelsea and don't forget Wolves have beaten Chelsea three times in a row let's make it four and become their bogey team uh, let your thoughts on the Gary what Gary O'Neill's had to say in the comments below until the next one from myself and the legend that is Mr Magic Moss 
Always wolves. Always wolves.